Hello everyone. So today I'm just going to go through a couple raw files that I have from the previous photo shoot using the Fujifilm X H2. So let's get started. I import it into the Lightroom for the file and you can see the settings on the upper left corner. I just want to double check if the Lightroom can load all the default profiles from the XH2. So you can see that on this profile section and then if I click it and right now these are the currently available from the Lightroom. So uh, automatically if you pick up the classic Chrome that I have in my camera setting. So it set it to the classic Chrome. Uh, keep in mind that this is the raw file without any sharpening and stuff. So you will see like uh, the 100% um, closer and then it is uh, not sharp sharpening but it's uh, in focus on the eyes already. I just want to show you like what are the available. The Astia probably too yellow for, for this uh, environment. That's why I use the classic chrome. And then for the, um, you can change to eternal uh, so that you can have more adjustment for the, uh, like the contrast stuff. Uh, I used the Pronec uh, standard Pronec High before, but you can see the difference uh, between the classic chrome and the Pronec High. The, the yellow uh, range is different. Yep, you can see the difference here. Uh, let's see what else. So these are the black and white ones. So I don't see the the latest one, the classic negative uh, is not here. So for, for now, this one, uh, it only have um, the standard one in the Lightroom, but you can just change it in the raw file uh, if needed. For those of you who doesn't have the capture one, you can um, change uh, this one based on uh, your preference uh, in the raw file. And then uh, next one, yeah, this one is in focus on the eyes also. Um, the 56 mm f1.2 shooting at f1.2 ISO 125. Uh, the previous one was the old lens using the old uh, 23 f1.4 R, but this one is the latest uh, 56 mm f1.2 R. And then. Um, Yep, I'm just gonna go through a couple one and then just zoom in, just show you the focusing area and how the um, rendering. And then next one. Yep, this one using the 33 mm f 1.4, and you can see that uh, the classic Chrome already by default has a stronger contrast and then the eternal has a less uh, contrast so that you can modify later if you need it um, I think this one this one in the outdoor the Pro Neck High is pretty good also so between the classic chrome and Pro Neck High in the outdoor is pretty good yep you can change, change uh, differently based on your uh, preference in the raw files so when you were shooting, you don't have to set it uh, once and then um, uh, you can change it, uh, have the option to change uh, if, if you have the Lightroom this, uh, subscription. And this one by default is the, uh, yep, it's the 33 f1.4 and then uh, it's the new 33 mm lens. Astir Soft is too yellow to me. There are a lot of yellow casting uh the eterna is good for uh like editing if you want to do a lot of post edit you can do the eterna and then um pro nest standard has a lighter range of casting so i must do some pro next standard later just to uh, try it out but uh classic chrome is the one that i use the most so yeah and this one was uh, at f1.4 and then 56mm, the latest 56mm. And you can see the focus is on the eyes. Yep. 
Yep. So that's the Eterna and then the Pronex standard. So yep, I just want to show you uh, quickly on what are the options currently if you load the XH2 into the Lightroom. Um, just to show you like what are the options for uh, profile right now. Uh, right now it does uh, it only have this uh, couple one here and and some black and white one yep so that's it this is a very quick video it's not an editing video just want to show you like in general when you load the x h2 file into the lightroom if you just have lightroom uh, what are the uh, results and then what are the light color rendering it renders still pretty good uh, by default already and then the sharpening um, I don't have any sharpening right now but if uh, um, the JPEG looks uh, much sharper uh, because the JPEG is already sharpened um, you can do some sharpening here in the Lightroom I'm not gonna do that right now I just want to show you what are the options in the profile and then in general what are the color uh, when you first import it to the Lightroom Yep, so that's it. Uh, thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more video coming up. Thank you. Bye.